What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in how to build a PHP project that analyzes stock data and therefore predicts the future price of a stock. Now how does this do this? Am I just going to give you a script and it's like bam, now you know the future of the stock prices. No, I'm not going to do that because if I did then I would probably be the richest person in the world. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a program where we insert certain criteria. We're going to be giving it a company name and we're going to be saying, okay, this is when you would buy the stock and this is when you would sell the stock. So we're pretty much going to give it a formula and it's going to test that formula over the like the last five years or something. So if you say, okay, well, let me give you guys an example. You know how you have some friends? It's like, yeah. If you just buy a stock when it goes down 10%, then the next day it goes up 20%. That's all you got to do to become a millionaire. But you're like, dude, you work at McDonald's. Probably taking advice from you isn't the best idea. But also, you don't know if that formula actually works or not, or if they're just, you know, talking out their butt. And, you know, some people may be like, yeah, just buy stocks on Monday and then sell them on Wednesday because stocks always go up the first part of the week. People always used to tell me stuff like that, and I always used to read these really weird formulas and books, but you never really knew if they work or not. So what this program is going to do is it's going to allow you to take that formula and say, okay, I want to test this from the last five years of data. If you used this formula on the last five years of, you know, Netflix or something, would I have lost $8,000? Would I have made $12,000? And you could actually pick which formulas are really accurate, which ones aren't accurate or accurate at all. So what formulas work the best for that company or what formulas are just terrible and would end up losing you a bunch of money. So again, like I said, I'm not going to be giving you guys the formula of how to predict stocks. That's up to you. But once you learn how to input formulas in this program, then it's really easy to make your own custom formula. So I'm going to be building a couple, but really the creative part is going to be up to you guys. I'm just going to show you guys how to put the program together. So the reason I'm making this program is I actually coded this about five years ago. So it doesn't use object oriented programming. And I'm also going to be making a website that displays the data in a really simple table. And it isn't really pretty or anything, but the program works really awesome. And aside from that, you might be thinking, okay, your tutorials are kind of cool, but I just don't care about the stock market. I have no money to invest. I hate finance. So I think I'm going to pass on this tutorial. I mean, I like PHP, but okay, wait a second, sir. In this tutorial, I'm not just going to tell you how to predict stock prices. I'm going to be teaching guys about web crawlers. So if you ever wanted to build a search engine or a web crawler for, you know, maybe go out and get the cool news links for the day or something. It's an awesome way to build a web crawler. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to work with files and databases and showing you guys a few awesome tricks that uh, I learned over the years and it's actually really cool. So like I said, in order to build this we're going to be working with PHP and you're saying okay why are you looking at HostGator right now? In my PHP tutorials, what I did is I showed you guys how to install WAMP or XAMP or some program that basically turned your computer into a server. And once we have a server, we can run PHP and MySQL and everything like that. But I have to admit something to you guys. I absolutely hate servers and networking and everything like that. So the easiest thing that I could do is I just bought a really cheap server from HostGator and no they didn't pay me to you know advertise for them although I wish they did if anyone's watching from HostGator you know just send me some money. So anyways whenever you buy a server from HostGator it's already set up with you know cPanel, PHP, MySQL it's ready to go it takes about I don't know, like two and a half minutes maybe, and then you got a website ready for PHP. So I bought this website, danielle1986.org, and that's what I'm going to be building it on. But anyways, if you guys want to do this through XAMPP or something, then that's fine. So anyways, like I said, now that I have cPanel, I'm just going to go ahead and create all my databases and upload everything to a 
my website danielle1986.org and in the next tutorial that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be creating a database creating a user as in adding the user to the database and getting this thing rolling so for now I just want to tell you guys what we're going to be doing give you guys a nice little intro so in the next tutorial we can finally start coding and working on this bad boy so I'm super excited for it I hope you guys are too and uh, yeah I guess I'll see you guys in the next video